Hey everyone, uh, have, have you ever wondered what the ballistic coefficient is of your pellets? Well, today I'm going to demonstrate how I determine what the ballistic coefficient is of my pellet. And the ballistic coefficient is important to know if you're trying to calculate holdovers uh, well beyond uh, your, your testing range, uh, shall we say. Because you could actually go out and reverse calculate, reverse engineer what your ballistic coefficient is by changing the holdovers uh, in your ballistics app, such as like I use chair gun as an example. So today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I came up with my ballistic coefficient for my pellets in my gun. So let's get started and I'll show you what I do. Today I'm gonna use the FX 177 1034 grain, which are basically the same thing as GSB. GSB makes it for them. Um, you know, that, that is going to have little to no effect on the uh, true ballistic coefficient. Now, what I'm going to use for a power plant is I'm going to use my Air Arms S500 that I use in field target. Um, this gun is shooting uh, right at 920 feet per second, um, and I'm going to set the crony up. Here in front, we're going to take a measurement off the muzzle, and then we're going to move 25 yards down range, and we're going to put the crony down there, and we're going to check the speed at 25 yards. So we're going to we're going to use the values I get here at the muzzle, and then down there at 25 yards. We'll put that information in the uh, the ballistic app, and we'll come up with a ballistic coefficient. Okay, one thing I'm going to check. I'll make sure that the muzzle will shoot over the crony and not shoot into the crony. This is very important for accurate results. Do not shoot your crony. And it's equally important as the uh, sensors are not very wide on crony's as you can see. And it's important to get everything all kind of lined up. So take your time in doing this and uh, your results, you'll get uh, accurate results. Looks like it's over. I'm just going to do three shots on each one because this is just for demonstration purposes. And within three shots, I should be able to get the, uh, uh, the ballistic coefficient by comparison. Okay, so, so I shot three shots. And I'll do a review. It's kind of read that screen and the glare and everything. So the last shot was 319. 319. How about 919? Yeah, it's really hard to read. I know you're having trouble because I'm having trouble. But trust me, it's 919. And let's go back and we're going to review this. A 918. And that is 917. So 917, 918, 919. Let's see what the average is. Okay, we're going to go with 918 because, you know, it's between 917 and 919. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the crony down here. And I'm going to sit it on top. There's a cinder block down there so I can see the uh, crony readout through the screen or through the scope. And we'll get this set up and we'll see what we come up with. So we've got three shots in down range, 20 yards. Oh, my allergies are just most unbearable today out here. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's see what they uh, see what it actually worked out to be. Okay, let's have a peek. Okay, so let's do a review. 50, one was 847. Okay, so we got a high of 850, a low of 844, an average of 847. So that's what we're gonna go with. We're gonna go with 847. And 920. So let's go see what that calculates out to be. And I'll give you the results of this test right after a word from our sponsors. JD's custom design parallax scope wheels. Range it, send it. Does this look like your typical day at your club's field target matches? Just can't seem to range the easy ones? Frustrated? Wouldn't you rather see targets hit in the kill zone and go down like expected? Win your next match with a quality-made parallax scope wheel from JD's Custom Design. Give Joe a call at 
0540-JDSCustomDesign.com So Chair Gun lists the ballistic coefficient of this pellet at 0 0.0310 as shown in the upper right hand corner of this page. Pyramid Air shows the ballistic coefficient to be 0 0.029 and show it tested at 787 feet per second. Hard Air Magazine doesn't even list this pellet in their ballistic coefficient page on their website. That's interesting because this is probably one of the most popular pellets used in 0.177. So as you can see, velocity ultimately determines the true ballistic coefficient of pellets. So that's the reason you need to go out with your gun, your ammo, and derive the true ballistic coefficient of what you're using. As you can see on this page, I'm using the default ballistic coefficient for this pellet as found in chair gun, which is 0 0.0310. Now, if that were the true ballistic coefficient, then the pellet would drop 2.18 inches at 55 yards. And I use 55 yards because this is for shooting field targets. As you can see in this illustration, I plugged in the measured ballistic coefficient of 0 0.0346. Now, from the earlier illustration, the drop in the pellet was 2.18. With the new and accurate ballistic coefficient, it's 2.08. Now, granted, that's a mere one-tenth of an inch, or very close to, say, an eighth of an inch, and an eighth of an inch at 55 yards for field target, that can hit or miss a kill zone. Now, that being said, the best way, I think, to determine what your holdover should be is to actually go out and shoot at these distances. You need to do that to determine what your true holdover is. A ballistic coefficient app is going to be beneficial, but there's nothing like doing the real thing to determine what the holdover should be. Guys, I hope this has been beneficial. I hope to see you at the next match. May all your kill zones be large.